Hello everybody. We were talking about modifications in adventitious roots, and we had completed the fleshy roots, crop roots, till fruits, and hostodia. Now we will discuss the remaining few parts. So, first of all, the photosynthetic roots or the accumulatory roots. So, this photosynthetic roots are not a quite a big deal. So, let me write down about the photosynthetic roots. Where is my pencil? Yes. Here. Let me write down about the photosynthetic roots in the text box over here. Okay. So photosynthetic roots, as you may have imagined, photosynthetic roots, roots that are able to perform photosynthesis. So, photosynthesis. Are photosynthetic roots. Photosynthetic roots. Quite intuitive. Roots that are able to perform photosynthesis. Photosynthesis are photosynthetic roots. What are example of photosynthetic roots? Example of photosynthetic roots are example. They are they are found in. For example, one. They are found in Tinospora. Tinospora. Ra. They are also found in the plant Podostemum. Podostemum. Such plants so have photosynthetic roots, and that was the definition of photosynthetic roots. Now let me clear this and go ahead. Okay. So where is my select tool? Here it should be. Sorry. Now the next topic is the epiphytic roots. To show you the epiphytic roots, I have got a fine picture over here. Let me bring the picture in front of you. Okay, so this one. In this picture, you can clearly see the epiphytic roots. Let me make it a little bigger. Let me highlight the roots first. All for you. There's a pencil tool. Here it is. Okay. So you can see in this plant, this is the Vanda plant, and you can see these root-like structures coming out from the branch of the plant, or from the stem of the plant. And these root-like structures are nothing but the epiphytic roots. These are the epiphytic roots. Epiphytic roots. Now what is the speciality of epiphytic roots? The speciality of epiphytic roots is that these roots, these roots, let me, okay, no matter, these roots possess a special pigment. What is a special pigment? That is velamen. A special pigment called velamen and this velamen pigment helps the plant to absorb moisture from the atmosphere so it can absorb moisture from the atmosphere this pigment helps the plant to absorb moisture moisture from the atmosphere okay so there is a quite a special feature of epiphytic roots it can take moisture from the atmosphere that is water and uh, normally the roots uh, take water from the soil so it can take water from the atmosphere okay so let's move on to the next topic that is the epiphyllus roots so let me clear this off first uh, this was the epiphytic roots. Now the epiphyllus roots. So what are the epiphyllus roots? Where is my pencil to be? Yeah. Yes. Ah, let's see, let's see. Epiphyllus roots. Let me write down a, something about the epiphyllus roots. And let me first give you a picture about epiphyllus roots. I can explain with the help of a picture also. 
here is the picture it is observed in the bryophyllum and okay so in this picture you can see the epiphyllus root let me show you where so in this leaves you can see at the edges of this leaves these root like structures are developing you can see here also the root like structure develop here also the root like structure develop and in these areas the root like structures are developing this is the this is actually the bryophyllum plant bryophyllum bryo phylum plant okay this is the bryophyllum and the actually in the bryophyllum plant this uh, uh, leaf acts as a vegetative propagating organ if you take a leaf of the bryophyllum plant and plant it in the soil you will see the whole plant will grow from the leaf so you will first of all you will observe that through the injured portions of the leaf the root like structures also arise and through the injured portions of the leaf uh, afterwards there will be vegetative buds arising from here like this and this root and buds will actually afterwards form the whole plant okay so that is that was and these roots okay let me write down these roots are the sorry uh, okay let me write them like that these roots are actually the epiphyllus root okay so that was the epiphyllus root let me clear this stuff again now the floating roots what are the floating roots floating roots help the plant to float as the name suggests and to float you must be in water okay so this structures are observed in the hydrophytes or the plants that stay in water so let me give you a picture of it a good picture here so in this plant you can see these these root like structures are there below the soil level also and they are present a little bit above the sorry not the soil level water level little bit above the water level also and these uh, you can clearly determine that these structures only help the plant to get the buoyancy okay so how does this these root like structures provide the plant buoyancy this is with the help of air okay so where does the air come from in the root let me show you if this is the root this is the cells of the root okay so this is one cell of the root and this is the other cell of the root and showing a very high magnific magnification with a very high magnification these if these these are the two cells of the root then between these two cells of the root there will be a huge gap okay they will not be compactly packed they will be loosely packed and there will be huge gap between these two cells of the root and what will be present between these gaps this is air will be present between these gaps so that is how this plants can float with the help of these roots so air will be present will be present in the intercellular spaces okay air will be present in the intercellular spaces and since air is less dense than water it is obvious that the plant will float so that was about the uh that was about the uh, floating roots okay now let us talk about the last topic the root thorn and that is also not a quite big deal let me write down about the root thorn here let me write down about the root thorn here and all that i want i can say is the name only suggests that in a very short two words the name suggests that root thorn thorns are basically adventitious roots roots modified into thorns okay that is only root thorn so let me give you a uh, that is only root thorn okay so bye then We have completed this chapter.